Okay, so now let's talk about making your own color blends from scratch. And I've got a little graphic here so you can see. So the simple premise is that this, say for example, this is a one of your patterns. So whatever colors that you put inside this um, pattern file are gonna come out of your brush in different ways like this. So really, it doesn't matter what this looks like, it only matters what colors are inside there. So honestly, you could use any brush and tap in your colors that you want and it will be fine. I have provided you some color uh, palette makers. So we're just gonna go through this process and show you how easy it is. So first of all, I'm gonna create a new document and I'm gonna make this one um, about 250, I'm gonna make it 250 pixels by 250 and RGB color, 300 DPI. And so I'm gonna create that document. I find that um, when I'm making my color palettes, I like to keep them under 250 or 200, um, 200 by 200 or 250 by 250, because that will make sure that the colors come out of your brush in nice ways. If you make it too big, um, you might not be able to see the color blending as well. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make a new layer and uh, I've already loaded up my color palette makers. Now, mind you, you can use any brush you want, but I'm gonna show you using my color, color palette makers. So first off, what I'm gonna do is, unless I want white in there, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my background. And this is just to make sure that I don't have any white space, unless I expressly want that as part of my color blend. And now I'm just going to take my regular brush tool and I'm going to take my color palette makers, which um, you load these up just like any other ABR file. And so this one has a color jitter of zero. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker here so you could see it. So this just paints out, this just is a dotty brush. So, oops, what am I doing here? Oh, I've got the blend mode for some reason set to multiply. So we're gonna put it on normal. And I've got the, um, I'm just using the first one. So as you can see, it's just a dotty brush. The second one is palette maker. It's got jitter one. So it's just got a little bit of jitter, a little bit of brightness jitter here. And then keep going forward and you've got more jitter, more jitter, more jitter. So I've got five different variations of those brushes. So this is an easy way to take a base color and create some variation and create your color blend. And so now when you paint the brush, all of these colors are gonna come out of your brush and it's gonna look a million times more dimensional than is if you were just using one color. So that's the first ones. And then you have the foreground and background jitter. So um, I've got a pink here and like kind of a teal. So I'm gonna go here and do this palette maker foreground and background jitter um, zero. And now this is going to give me all the colors that are in between these two colors. And again, it just goes up. So this has got uh, foreground and background with a little bit more jitter one. So now it's creating some um, color variations. It's creating a little darkness and lightness variations and it's a little bit more dramatic and it just keeps going up. So here is um, two and then it goes up to four. So you can just play around with this. But the idea is that whatever don't even worry about what this looks like but all of those colors are going to come out of your brush so i have this this looks good enough for my demo so I, what i'm going to do now is i have to make it into a um, pattern because that's how it's the pattern stamp tool so what i need to do is to go to edit define pattern over here and you you can name it you cannot name it whatever i usually don't bother to name mine unless i'm making it as part of a collection. So I'm gonna click OK. So now I'm going to go to an empty document here. I'm going to grab my pattern stamp tool. I'm gonna to grab one of the modern impressionist brushes here. And now I'm gonna scroll down and, it, um, and select my color blend or my pattern that I just made. So here, here it is at the bottom. So I'm gonna select that. And now all those colors that I put in there are gonna be coming out of my brush. So that's just how easy it is. Let's just zoom in so we can see it a little better. And they're gonna blend them in different ways. So 
Sometimes you'll see the colors um, a lot more strong depending on the brush. Sometimes the, the way that it blends it is going to be a lot more subtle and it can also depend on your um, the pressure that you put on your brush stroke. So that is how easy it is to make your own color blends. And in the next video I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how you can sample directly from any kind of image or photograph and create amazing color blends.